Now you see, obviously, this much broader impact beyond just the writers' rooms, because when those writers' rooms shut down, then the support staffers, you know, the showrunners' assistants, the writers' assistants, the production assistants, all of that shuts down immediately, too. One day of production on a movie set, for example, generates hundreds of thousands of dollars to the local economy. So you're also talking about, uh, you know, set builders, craft services, hair and makeup, um, costumers. There's a, a whole assortment of professions that are impacted by the strike. We are definitely feeling the effects financially. Um, luckily, we've had some events going on, which has helped, but it's, again, not the money that we need. The minute the strike happened, we started. I started panicking personally, because that's just me, because I'm always thinking ahead of what's down the line, how do we make this happen, and we've got to pay the bills, and we've got to pay the people, and it just, you know, what can I do to make more work in here? Mm -hmm. And so it means you know, doing more theater work or doing whatever, but, you know, it's like you can't, you know, knock a person over the head and drag them in and say, rent clothes. I mean, they need to come to you when they need something. I think the writers are not asking for anything that they shouldn't have. I think that any time that the below the line people are saying, we need to be recognized for what we do, we need to be, you know, I and we stand with them, you know, and they're not asking for anything more than being able to live.